One in four Americans will at some point in their lives suffer from a substance abuse problem. What's more, the risk for developing an addiction can run in the family. Tonight, Local 10's Christy Kruger looks at the different roles nature and nurture play in the development of addictive behaviors. Photos capture moments in our lives and those around us. When Marguerite Castellanos' family came together, alcohol was always part of the picture. Everybody drank, my grandmother, my aunts, my uncles. You know, it was always drinking. We all went to church and told everybody we were great, and then Grandma was on the floor. Marguerite believes genetics played a part in her own struggle with drugs and alcohol. Studies have shown that children of addicts are eight times more likely to become hooked on drugs or alcohol themselves. Dr. Kenneth Blum discovered a possible genetic link 20 years ago, identifying a gene that can lead to reduced dopamine levels in the brain. So that means you're walking around with sort of a lack of dopamine function. So you're on edge, you're more stressed, and what you do to compensate it is you find anything in the world that is gonna stimulate and release dopamine. Dr. Blum's discovery related to a gene that affects the reward pathways of the brain. Other genes implicated in addiction relate to personality and mood disorders, and some genes affect an individual's response to certain substances, making them more likely to get hooked. Now, identifying this genetic link may lead to more effective treatments that can be individually tailored biologically. At the same time, experts say the behavioral and the social aspects of addiction have to be addressed. At G&G &G Holistic Treatment Center in North Miami, Director John Giordano helps clients develop healthy coping skills and the strength to stay away from addictive substances. I don't care if they say they're social drinkers, okay? You can't be around it. With Giordano's help, Marguerite has managed to stay clean and sober for 15 years and now helps other recovering addicts. I believe that you know, if I can change and, and the people that I know can change, then believe me, anybody can change. <laughs> I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. That, now, along with genetic components that may increase the risk of addiction, genes also appear to play a role in resistance to addiction. Now, two genes common in the Asian population cause them to become flushed and nauseated when they drink alcohol, reducing the chances they'll develop a drinking problem.